Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. This is the last video on gratuity, committed pension and leave and cashment. Last two videos I have completed seven problems on this topic. Now in this video I am going to cover up the last three problems, 8th, 9th and 10th. That will be the end of the topic of retirement benefits. So what are the provisions under Income Tax Act regarding the taxability of gratuity, commuted pension, leave encashment, etc. So if you have not watched those videos, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject income tax for the assessment year 21-22. Select the videos on the problems on gratuity, commuted pension and leave encashment. Watch the last two videos, be perfect, then you can be able to understand these problems. Before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which are given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take a screenshot of the solution, then I'll explain. Come on, see the eighth problem. <clears throat> problem number eight I am reading out. Sri Harshant retired from the service after serving for 29 years. During the previous year, he got one fourth of his pension commuted and received 4,50,000. That means one fourth of his to total commission, uh, uh, total pension, he has commuted and he has received 4,50,000. Calculate the taxable amount in the following cases. If he is a government employee, first case. Second, if he is a non-government employee and receiving gratuity. And third case, if he is a non-government employee and not receiving, did not receive gratuity. So three different cases we have to find out how much is the taxable amount of commuted pension. Now carefully, for one by one we will take. First, Sri Harshant, if he is a government employee, Already we have discussed in the theory video, when the SSC is a government employee, that means the commuted pension is completely exempted, no rule, nothing. So regarding the gratuity, regarding the commuted pension, regarding leave and cashment, for government employees, it is completely exempted, not taxable. Here 4,50,000 he has received, completely 4,50,000 exempted, the taxable amount is nil for government employee. So actual amount received is fully exempted. Actual amount 4,50,000 exempted. 4,50,000 taxable amount is nil. That's all. First case completed. Now second case, if he's a non-government employee and receiving gratuity. Now in this case, one third of the total commuted pension is exempted. The limit is one third. So what are the steps? First of all, we have to find out how much is the total commuted pension value that is not given in the problem. One fourth is given. One fourth of the commuted pension comes to 4,50,000. When one fourth comes to 4,50,000, one how much? That means 4,50,000 into 4. 25%, one fourth means 25%. 25% comes to 4,50,000. So 100% how much? So 100 by 25 into 4,50,000. Take it a pen and calculate yourself. 1 fourth is equal to 4,50,000. So 1 is equal to how much? So you can get 1 lakh, 4,50,000 into 4. You will get 18 lakh. Or if you are not, not understanding this method, I will tell you another method. 1 by 4 means 25%. 1 by 4 means 25%. When 25% comes to 4,50,000, 100% comes to how much? Because we need the total commuted value of pension. So 100 divided by 25 into 4,50,000. You will get 18 lakhs. So step 1, calculating the commuted value of total pension. For 1 fourth part, Commuted pension is 4,50,000 for one part how much? So 4,50,000 into 4, 18 lakh rupees the total commuted pension value. Now calculating exempted value. When an SSC receives gratuity and commuted pension, in that case one third of the total commuted pension is tax free. Already I have discussed in the last video. 
regarding this uh, theory of this retirement commuted pension i have explained in detail so gratuity and commuted pension both if the person receives then one third of the total commuted pension so 1 by 3 into 18 lakh it comes to 6 lakh the limit of exempted commuted pension is 6 lakh limit limit of exempted commuted pension is 6 lakh whereas his actual commuted pension received is 4 lakh 50 thousand he has received only 4 lakh 50 thousand whereas exempted limit comes to 6 lakh rupees in other words we can say the actual commuted pension received is less than the exempted amount than the exempted amount in that case the exempted amount will be limited to the actual commuted pension exempted amount will be limited to the actual commuted pension actual commuted pension is 4 lakh 50 thousand exempted also will take 4 lakh 50 thousand exempted limit is 6 lakh but we don't have the income of 6 lakh we have received only 4 lakh 50 thousand so 4 lakh 50 thousand received 4 lakh 50 thousand exempted taxable commuted pension is nil so these are the steps we have to follow when we want to find out how much is a taxable commuted pension now if he is a non-government employee not receiving gratuity here receiving gratuity here not receiving gratuity same steps are there only one difference the difference is instead of one third we take half no gratuity half Gratuity and commuted pension one third that is the only difference So here first step calculating the commuted value of total pension exactly same thing for one fourth part Commuted pen value is four lakh fifty thousand for one how much so four lakh fifty thousand into uh, Four you'll get 18 lakh or in other words you can do like this also for 25 percent For 25 percent it is four lakh fifty thousand for hundred percent how much? So 100 divided by 25 into 4 lakh 50 thousand again you will get 18 lakh any, any one of the method you can follow then calculating ex exempted amount when a person is not receiving gratuity then half of the total commuted pension is exempted so total commuted pension is 18 lakh so half of 18 lakh is 9 lakh so maximum limit of exemption maximum limit of exemption is 9 lakh but actually he received only 4 lakh 50 thousand so completely 4 lakh 50 thousand is exempted nothing is taxable exempted up to 9 lakh but he has received only 4 lakh 50 thousand so in this situation also the exempted amount is more than the received amount received amount is only 4 lakh 50 thousand Hence, the exempted amount is the limited to the received amount. Exempted amount will be limited to the received amount. Received amount is 4,50,000. Exempted also will take 4,50,000. So, the taxable amount is nil. That's all. This is the end of problem number 8, commuted pension. Now, problem number 9. Sri Bhaskar Rao of Swastik Oil Company Limited, Delhi, after serving for 34 years and 8 months, Retired on 30th November 2020, current previous year. On the date of his retirement, his basic pay was rupees 64,000 per month. Under the superannuation benefit, he is entitled to receive 40% of commutation of pension at the rate of 150 for every rupee. For every rupee, 150 rupees will be the commuted pension. And 23 months basic pay as gratuity. Calculate taxable amount of gratuity and commuted pension. So in this problem, you have to find out total uh, taxable gratuity and taxable commuted pension. So uh, gratuity is given uh, 23 months basic pay. So what is the basic pay here? 64,000 per month. 64,000 per month is the basic pay. 23 months is the gratuity. So first we calculate gratuity. The SSC is a non-government employee and governed by payment of gratuity. If nothing is given, we assume governed by payment of gratuity act. So gratuity received. 64,000 is the average salary and 23 months it is given in the problem. Gratuity will be paid 23 months. So 14,72,000 is the actual gratuity received. Now we have to find out exempted gratuity. Least of the following three. 
actual amount received or 15 days salary into number of years of service completed or a part thereof in excess of 6 months or fixed 20 lakh already we have done the salary first of all calculating salary here when the employee is governed by payment of gratuity act salary means basic plus DA of the retiring month here DA is not given the only basic 64,000 15 days salary 15 by 26 64,000 into 15 by 26, 36,923.07. Third step, number of years of service completed or a part thereof in excess of six months. So actually he has completed 34 years and eight months. Eight months means more than six months. So we include one year. So it becomes 35 years. 34 plus one, 35 years. Calculating the exempted amount. List of the following thing. Actual amount received is 14,72,000. 15 days salary into number of years. 15 days salary 36,923.07 into 35. You will get 12,92,307. Fixed 20 lakh. Least among these three is 12,92,307. So amount received 14,72,000 minus exempted 12,92,307. Taxable gratuity is 1,79,693. That's it. It is asking you find out to find out taxable gratuity and taxable commuted pension. Taxable gratuity completed. Now commuted pension. Actual amount received. It is given that 150 rupees for every 1 rupee. 150 rupees for every 1 rupee. So how much he has received? 64,000. 64,000 rupees is the salary received. For every 1 rupee, 150. So 64,000 into 150 into 40%. He has committed 40%. Yes, 40% of the commuted pension. So calculate 64,000 into 40% into 150. It comes to 38,40,000. This is the actual commuted pension received. Actual commuted, commuted pension received. SSC is a non-government employee and re receiving gratuity. He is receiving gratuity and also commuted pension. In that case, one third. One third of the total commuted pension is exempted. Now see, here, calculating the commuted value of pension. For 40% of commuted value, he has received 38,40,000. This 38,40,000 is the 40% only. So 100% how much? So 100% how much? So 100 divided by 40 into 38,40,000. It comes to 96 lakh. The total commuted pension value is 96 lakh. Now calculating the exempted amount. When the SSC is receiving gratuity and commuted pension, in that case, one third of total commuted pension is exempted. 1 by 3 into 96 lakh, 32 lakh is the maximum exemption limit. Maximum exemption. Now calculating the taxable amount. Actual amount received is 38,40,000 and exempted amount is 32 lakh. So 6,40,000 is the taxable commuted pension. That's it. So this is the end of ninth problem. Last and final problem, problem number 10. See carefully. Sri K.C. Arora retired from the service after serving for 25 years and received 15 lakh as leave encashment for 6 months. So here, it's a problem of leave encashment. At the time of retirement, he has received leave encashment. If leave encashment is received by government employee, fully exempted. For non-government employee, list of the following 4 amounts. So here, uh, his employer allows 1 month leave for 1 year of service. 1 month leave for 1 year of service. So how many years of service he has completed? 25 years. For one year, one month. So 25 years, 25 months. Then uh, he has already encashed six months leave during his service period and availed two months leave. So during the service period itself, he has encashed his leave six months. And two months leave he has availed. So out of 25 months, six months plus two months, eight months are over. Right now, his average salary 36,000. Calculate taxable amount of leave and cashment if he is a government employee, and second, if he is a non government employee. The easy case is <clears throat> government employee. If the SSC is a government employee, 
gratuity received fully exempted commuted pension received fully exempted leave and cashment received fully exempted so simple rule if he is a government employee actual amount received is fully exempted <clears throat> now come to non government employee if he is a non government employee step 1 calculating the leave period according to service period according to service contract with the company the employer allows him one month one month leave for one year of service so for one year of service one month leave for 25 year of service 25 months so according to service contract 25 months is the leave period now ceiling period income tax act also has given the same ceiling period 30 days leave for one year of completed service or 30 days or we can say one year one month also same thing whatever company is following the company is following the same rule as that of law so for one year of service one month for 25 years of service almost 25 months calculating qualifying period the least of the two actual leave period 25 and ceiling period in this problem coincidentally both are same the leave period according to contract and the leave period according to ceiling given by the income tax act both are same 25 months now calculating the leave period at the time of retirement total leave period is 25 months and how many months he has availed the leave six months leave he has encashed during the year and two months he has availed the leave eight so subtract will get 17 so leave period at the time of retirement 17 months so calculating average salary 36,000 given in the problem calculating the exempted amount which is list of the following four cash equivalent to leave balance so 36,000 into 17 months 6 lakh 12,000 10 months average salary 36,000 into 10 3 lakh 60,000 actual amount received 15 lakh given in the problem and fixed amount given by income tax act 3 lakh so least among these four is 3 lakh so actual amount received 15 lakh exempted amount 3 lakh so 12 lakh rupees is the taxable amount of leave encashment that's all so totally 10 problems I have explained you on gratuity, commuted pension and leave encashment. Inshallah the next topic we will discuss in the next video.